Hey everyone, due to a very high request rate by my subscribers, I am going to show you how to root and load Clockwork Mod Recovery for the official uh, Ice Cream Sandwich update that comes for the Rogers Samsung Galaxy S2 LTE. This method is also compatible with the Samsung Galaxy S2 Skyrocket for the AT&T network. The reason it's possible for it to run on the Skyrocket and the Rogers uh, LTE of the Galaxy S2 is because they run off the same um, mobile carrier, like the frequency, for receiving a phone signal. So their hardware parts are almost identical, very uh, minor differences from what I read upon. So anyway, uh, before we can get into this video, so a couple of things you should know, by trying to attempt this, everything shown in this video, if something goes wrong, you could permanently damage your device, so you're doing so at your own risk. Uh, all credit goes to Vincom on XDA Developers, and this link for this forum thread will be in the description below, because all the original instructions and the necessary uh, files to download are linked in here. Okay, so I'll have the link for this in the description below. So as I said earlier, you must be running the Samsung Galaxy S2 Skyrocket uh, AT&T or the Samsung Galaxy S2 LTE for Rogers. And this method is known to work for the official ice cream sandwich update that comes from AT&T and Rogers. So whether you updated ice cream sandwich from Rogers or AT&T, this will work for you. Um, now many people on this forum thread from AT&T Network have confirmed it works great for them. Uh, a few people, because it's not as popular for Canadians, uh, Rogers Net users have confirmed it works. In fact, the, the person who got this thread up and running is a Rogers user. So it's confirmed to work for both uh, phone types. So the first thing you're going to do, you have to load Clockwork Mod Recovery before you can get root up and running. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. So essentially, you're going to go to this forum thread, scroll down just a little bit. And you're going to go to where it says more detailed procedure under install clockwork mod, uh, clockwork mod rather. What you're going to do is download Odin, then you're going to click here and download this uh, tar file. And what you're going to do, I suggest you create a folder on your desktop just like this. I just put CWM, doesn't matter what you name it. The two files you downloaded, put it in here, open the zip file. I would, if I was you, I would recommend, where is it, display, uh, clockwork mod, I suggest you just extract it in the very same folder it's in, okay, it's done, and remember this .md5 file, you keep that there, okay, this is really important, so what you're going to do is open up the exe file which you just extracted, and this is what you're going to get, okay, so once you have Odin up and running, what you need to do is under the options section, uncheck mark everything except auto reboot. Auto reboot should be the only thing check marked. Everything else should be blank. Okay? And we need to get the phone prepped up. So what you need to do is turn off your phone. It should be powered down. And you're gonna plug in the USB cable cord to your computer. Do not plug it into your phone just yet, okay? Once your phone is shut down and the cable is connected to the computer. What you're going to do is, for AT&T users, you have to press and hold both volume buttons. Do not press the power button, only the vo both volume buttons. Rogers users, only press down the down volume button. Don't touch the top volume button and don't touch the power button. Okay? So again, AT&T users, only hold down both volume buttons. Rogers users, press and hold down only the down volume button. So let me show you. So I'm holding down the down volume button because I am a Rogers user. Plug in the cable. Foam vibrated. Okay. This is what you should get. This is what they call download mode. So in order to continue, this is the point of no return, kind of. All right. So uh, in order to continue, press the up volume button. And this is what you should get. Okay, and in Odin, what should happen is here in IDCOM in the first uh, box, you have to see something show up and it should look like this. On the original forum post, the user 
what they have is zero semicolon com nine. Instead, I have com five. The number doesn't make a difference, but you must have something in yellow and it should be like zero com and some sort of number there. That means your computer drivers uh, are set up. If you don't have the computer drivers up and running, you must download Samsung keys. You cannot continue unless this is working, okay? So what we're gonna do is get Odin prepped up to get the clockwork mod recovery up. Oh, I should have said that step. So you're gonna click the PDA button. You're gonna select that tar.md5 file you downloaded originally from the forum thread. Press open. Okay, so once you have the MD5 file loaded into PDA, everything is unchecked marked here except for auto reboot and column 5 is showing up. You're gonna press start. It should flash something here and eventually look like this. This is what you should get. It should be a pass and then the, some sort of green number. I am not going to do it because I simply can't do it. Um, the reason being is because I already have Clockwork Mod Recovery installed on my phone, but it's a different version from what's here. It's confirmed by other users on this forum thread that it works, but I can't do it because um, I already have it. If, and if you need proof, it's actually in my channel. I've used it while I was on Gingerbread. Then I flashed an ice cream sandwich ROM. So I can't do this. It will really mess up my current Clockwork Mod Recovery. But for you, those of you who are running the stock ice cream sandwich uh, update from 18 to your Rogers, once you do this, you have Clockwork Mod Recovery up and running. Now let's get into rooting. All right, so now that you have Clockwork Mod Recovery, at this point, I'm gonna show you how to root uh, your device. And again, I cannot run this properly because I'm already rooted. I'm just gonna show you how to do it and it's confirmed by many users on that forum post. And to show you that I am actually rooted, uh, there you go. See, I have super user already installed because I am running CyanogenMod Mod 9. Okay, actually just to show you guys, I am running that. In case you might be like, what, this guy's talking nonsense, he didn't do it himself. I'm running Cyanogen Mod 9. Okay, so what you need to do, <coughs> excuse me, uh, the fa same forum thread, you're going to go down to the second post, see it cut off with an ad, you go down to the second post, uh, where it says how to root the phone, and what you're going to do is for the more detailed explanation or at the top part, either one, this link or this link, doesn't matter, where it says superuser.zip, download it, put it onto your SD card, I personally recommend that you put it on the internal, okay, the internal memory of the phone. If you have an external SD card, you can put it there, it's up to you, but I'll show you how to get it done either way. Now what you're going to do at this point is start the phone into recovery, which I'm going to show you right now. Okay, so as I said, in order to root your device, you must first power it down, and you must have the first step of this video up and running, which is uh, flashing Clockwork Mod Recovery. Now to boot into Clockwork Mod Recovery, power it on your device. Uh, I believe this step is the exact same thing for AT&T and Rogers users. What you're going to do is press and hold the up and down volume keys and the power button at the same time. When you feel the vibration, continue to hold the volume buttons but let go of the power button. Okay, so let me demonstrate. So I'm holding down both volume buttons right now. Now the power button. Vibrate, let go of the power button. But I'm still holding the volume buttons. Okay, here is Clockwork Mod Recovery. Now, as I said, uh, my version is different. Um, as you can see, I'm running version 5.8.13. And the reason, like I said, is the one in this forum thread is 5.5.04. Okay, so that's why I didn't want to do it because it could screw up my device. So now I'm going to show you how to uh, root your device now. So depending on uh, where you put your zip file, the super su file, I'll tell you exactly what to do. And of course the Clockwork Mod Recovery, uh, if you installed it, I'm not sure if yours is going to be touch. If yours is touch, you can actually touch the options here and I'll select it. If it's not touch, you're going to have to use the volume keys to go up and down. And to select something, press the power button. Okay, the power button actually selects something from the menu. So at this point, <clears throat> no matter which version you're running, it's still the same for these options. You're going to choose install zip from SD card. Now, if you put that last zip file on your external SD card, you're going to choose the top one where it says choose zip from SD card. If you did it like me and you put it on the internal memory of your phone, you're going to choose zip from internal SD card. You're going to see a whole bunch of directories which are from your internal memory card. 
and scroll all the way down until you find the one that says Super SU 0.93 blah blah blah. You're going to tap on that or select it rather with the power button depending and here you're going to pray uh, sorry you're going to press yes and it's going to flash it and that's it you're done. You finished everything completely. Again, I cannot do this step because I'm already rooted. Um, so I, for me to reroute does not make any sense. So that's pretty much how you get, uh, oh, and to get out of this menu, in case you're wondering, uh, just select reboot system now when you're at the main menu and your system will reboot automatically into the original ROM you're running, which should be the stock ice cream sandwich ROM from at t or Rogers. Okay, so that's basically how you run Clockwork Mod Recovery uh, and root your device. And if you want to install a ROM like CyanogenMod Mod 9, which I'm running, I'll have a video link at the ending. And that's pretty much it. I really hope that helps you out and it works great. If so, feel free to check out my website listed in the description below. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe and thanks for watching.